All right, so this is me retaking my videos because just as I, as I was about to finish one video, right, uh, another bunch of patch notes just dropped and even Dawn's preview has dropped. So literally everything possible could have dropped at the time I finished my first video and it took like 33 minutes. So I'm just going to cut it down into three. So let's talk about the, um, the, uh, yeah, the preview for Uptie 4. I am mixed about this one. Uh, and I think a lot of people should feel the same because of the cost of uptying. Yeah, I was quite worried about this and my worries did come uh, quite quite true here. Yeah, So uptie 4 is very promising. Uh, it changes everything. Base power, coin power, skill effects, coin effects. Yeah, and even your passive and your support passives. Yeah, All of it is going to get changed with this uptie 4. So your bad units are going to become good units. Yep. So that is great for the game. Really, really great. Here's the example that they show. They show Assault. Uh, and I actually have the comparison here for Assault. Uh, let me pull it up here. Okay. Let's go to Assault, right? So we go to the ID, go to Assault. There he is. Okay. So the main one that was showcased here is the fact that he gains double the charge on skill one he only gains three charge now he gains six now he gains one on use and one on hit so he gains six and he has two conditions now added to him if at five plus x charge count you gain coin power plus one notice that there is none here so he gains coin power so his move here becomes five plus two right now it becomes five plus three so it's three six nine five plus nine that's four five to fourteen that's actually not bad for a assault and then what happened to energy current is that you see this here 5 plus 2 it used to be 5 plus 1 which is why it's so bad but then they added 5 plus 2 and then they also added the clause if at 5 plus charge count you gain coin power plus 1 so that's now plus 3 coin power huge huge because this is now a plus 3 move with 4 coins 3 6 9 12 5 plus 12 that's 5 to 17 that's the range it's huge makes Masot actually pretty good you only need to use rip once and now you can use either skill 2 or skill 3 because you will have the charge count and uh, unfortunately once you use your skill 2 or skill 3 you will dump it to apply slash fresh or to uh, apply all of this defense down uh, but yeah it's it's still huge because that coin power is making it actually a good move it's pretty good move yeah uh, his passive also gets changed so his passive here is uh, it used to be when he gets hit you gain charge count but in this case right is if you get hit and if you lose a clash, you get charge count as well. If this is this bottom part here is independent of this, meaning you can get hit and you can lose a clash. And it will still stack. Like they will count as two separate instances and they will add, give you plus two charge count, for example. Yeah. So that is okay, I guess. I, you don't you don't want to be purposely throwing your moves into the grinder, especially when you have such good moves now with this. So it's this it's, it's it's something it's something, but the main one really is the coin power plus here. Basically, if you last time if you had coin power, you were crazy, and now they added they just slapped some coin power on this guy and called him pretty okay. Yeah, it's 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 quite good. It's quite good. Yeah. So you can look forward to your units actually becoming good. And then here, uh, I'm going to show you guys a Rodion's example. So Rodion, right? It gets a interesting treatment in that. For egos, right? Everything can change. Your base power, coin power, skill effects, coin effects, but here is the one. Number of targets can change. Yeah. So if we were to look at the ego itself. Ego. Rodion. Ego Rodion, right? It is a single target here and an AOV tree slot here. And then if we go to Rodion here, we have attack weight. So if you haven't read the pre the other patch notes, which I will be also releasing, attack weight is the new uh, AOE system. So attack weight three means that it has three AOE, but then look here, attack weight five. When you corrode or you overclock, you get five target AOE slash. This is the first of its kind. We do not have any five target AOE slash moves. We only have sun shower, which is pierce, ebony stamp, which is pierce, fluid sec, which is blunt. So this will be actually our first one. 
as of now because I don't actually know if other egos are also getting changed to five. But yeah, this is pretty damn huge, honestly. Like this ego used to be single target. They did not change the cost, by the way. It's still three, two, one cost. But they are just making it into a three AOE and a five AOE. Like what? That's kind of that's kind of crazy. But you, you unfortunately, this coinage here is you need to be negative coin, and we don't have uh we don't have a Rodeon that's supposed to be low sanity yet. So it's a bit hard to get the full damage. But five AOE with slashing and breath, if you can get the right elements. Yeah, that's a that's very that's a lot of damage, especially if you're running ref team because you inflict three ref fresh on everyone you hit with this ego. Whoa. Huge dude, huge. So it's really making the bad units into good ones. I can't wait to see what the good ones are. Because they've shown purposely, I'm pretty sure, W Assault and Rodeon Fourth Match Flame, which are probably the two least used uh ego slash um slash uh, IDs in most of in most content. I think uh, in the previous railway you could have used this as a uh, AUE slash for the uh, for the um, K Corp floor on railway, uh, but you could also have used E Sang's. E Sang was also an AOE uh, slash, and it was also called Fourth Match Flame. So yeah, uh, this I'm, I'm glad that they're showing these two of how like they're buffing these units to become actually okay. So that's a good good job by them. I'm very excited for what else, and then now here comes the big problem that I have with this is that it costs a shit ton. So take a look here. One stars, so my uh, LCB, my base IDs, cost 20 Ego Shards and 50 Thread. All right. You go to two stars, it's 30, 100 Thread. You go to three stars, it's 50, 150 Thread. It's 50, 150 for each ID that you want to uptie to four. So Nin Claire, Lishmail, um, G Gregor, Ting Tang, uh, what else? Rabbit, um, W Dawn, uh, Sunshine, uh, Spice Bush, Yi Sang. Mm, uh, what other good units are there? Uh, maybe Seven Section Otis, Chef Ryoshu, uh, uh, Grippy Faust. So I, I counted 10 on my hand already. So take this and times 10. That's the cost to up tie all of them. It's a lot. That's 1500 thread and 500 ego shards. Of, of course, it's varied, uh, like 50 for each, so it's not super bad. The thread part is the part I have the problem with because I only get around, what, 27 thread a day or something like that. So I it takes really, really long to get to this number. Yeah, so uh, if you have your thread, I hope you have saved some thread because it's going to cost a lot to uptie any of your 3 stars. Yeah, it's going to take a while to do all of this uptying. I hope you ordered your thread well, yeah. And uh, for the egos, it's even worse because now you have to burn more shards. Yeah, that's a that's a lot of shards. It starts off at eighty, you know. It starts off at eighty. You know your your representation emitter, your two pathos math first, You have to use eighty shards for each of those, as well as trends. So it's like insane the cost it takes to build one unit to the maximum level. Uh, admittedly, there's no content right now that needs up to four. But I, man, it takes so long. I, I, I don't know. It feels so unrealistic to actually like hit this properly. I don't know. It's, it's really, really, really expensive, man. It's prohibitively expensive. Time to grind treads, yeah. I'm already grinding my treads, yeah. It's, it's a bit insane, honestly. It's a bit insane. And uh, I think the most disappointing one for me here is because, you know me, I'm a base ID uh, trier. I like f 2 ping stuff. Well, uh, LCB, Sinner IDs, and Base Egos are automatically uptied up to Tier 3 only, but they require the displayed amount to be upgraded to Tier 4. So Tier 4 for Base IDs are not free. It's it's rough, man. It's rough. So yeah, um, lots of good stuff, honestly. The up, the Tier 4, nothing nothing wrong, but the, the cost is what really gets me here. And I think that is all I will do for this video. It's already like 9 minutes, right? Yeah, okay. So that is it for this video, I think. So just a brief summary. Uh, Uptai 4 is huge. Uptai 4 makes it so that your bad uh, IDs and egos are becoming much, much better. And your uh, strong units uh, might become even stronger. We, I have, I did not showcase any of the super strong ones. So we will have no clue what is going to happen to them, but I am very excited to look at them. The bad news is that it costs a crazy amount to uptie everything to go and uh, 
to go and like prepare a team of full Uptys. So Uptys is really truly an end game thing. Yeah, so it's really kind of locking out most of the F2P players in my opinion. So uh, thankfully, there is still no content that requires this, so you still should have quite a bit of time before content that requires up tier 4 comes out. So I think uh, still okay, there's no need to be super mad, but I am a bit annoyed because I, uh, I, I find it very exorbitant, the amount needed to up tier 4. Yeah, but I can understand it being expensive when there's no content that requires it. But I don't know. It's, it's, it's a mixed bag. There's two arguments to this. I, I, I really don't know where I, where I am. On the one hand, I love that they're cooking. On the other hand, I hate that it costs so much. Yeah, I think I can be just in the middle. I just, uh, I'm, I'm happy but sad. All right. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, leave a comment on what you think of this patch. Uh, name some of the units maybe that you're excited for. I'm really excited to see like what happens to Ninclair, Groupie and uh, Quick, uh, Rabbit. Will they still be meta or will other... Uh, uh, relatively unknown ideas just become uh, the new meta in terms of damage or tanking or something but yeah uh yeah a lot of good stuff a lot of good stuff here okay that's it for this video uh thank you all and bye bye